Good afternoon, guys. Happy Saturday to all of your sunshiny faces. Guys, oh my, I've had a great busy day. Um, not super crazy, but I've had a decently busy day today. Oh, and I've been on my feet all day today, guys. My legs are like killing me, honestly, guys. I want nothing more than to go to bed right now. I need to go take a shower. Um, but I woke up this morning, yeah. like 7 o'clock. Um, and then kind of just like laid around in bed. I kind of like dozed in and out. <laughs> I was uh, sleeping a little bit and then like would wake up and then like kind of fall asleep back again. Um, but I actually like got up out of bed at like 8.15. So I was up early today guys because we had to go to the grocery store because we were planning on going to go watch the new Star Wars movie today. And it, what ended up happening was my dad was like, <clears throat> well, he didn't know for sure because Matthew has to work this weekend but then now Matthew doesn't have to work tomorrow because he switched with a day with somebody else and so he had to work today though and like squeezing it in and everything like that was going to be kind of difficult so we're going to go out to eat tomorrow for like lunch I think maybe dinner and then we're going to go um and watch the movie next week and we were going to go out to watch the movie and go eat on the same day and Tomorrow, we don't know that we're going to be able to get to see the movie, but that we're probably going to be able to um, go and eat tomorrow, but we're going to have to wait. Like I said, we're going to do both on the same day and then had to break it in between like two days on one weekend. And now we'll have to break it between two weekends. So <clears throat> that's what it looks like. Um, cause I think Matthew and his girlfriend are going to a dance or something like that that is this weekend. We had that, um, you know, we were going to do that. Um, so I was planning on like getting up really early going grocery shopping cause I had to get to several stores today. I wanted to, originally I had wanted to go to Walmart, but then I realized they didn't carry my shade at Walmart when we were there on Thursday. And so I was like, oh, well, you know, we'll go to Target and try and get it there. Then I was like, maybe we'll go back to Walmart. I realized that it wasn't actually the shade that they were out of that I needed. <laughs> um, cause I actually realized that I had went like a shade darker, um, than what I had originally thought what they were out of was actually originally with my shade, I had gone a shade darker, like a couple I don't know, maybe a year or two ago or something like that. And then realized that um, that wasn't the one that I even needed anyone once I got to Target. Because it's in the same spot at Target and I always know which one it is. So I just, you know, go to the, exactly that one. I know it's like, I think second or third. I can't remember off the top of my head, guys. Um, I think it's third over from the side or something like that. So I know what it is at Target, but I wasn't thinking that I remembered the, <clears throat> the exact number at Walmart. So anyways... Um, so we had to go to Target. We also had to go to the dollar store. We were originally not going to go to Menards and ended up having to go to Menards after we got back home. So we went to Valley Produce Caputo's. That was the same as normal. Then we ended up adding in the dollar store and got some good finds and things like that there. I had to get actually a couple things or I need to get something for myself. Um, and then I also had to get like just a handful of other um, just like little snack things. My mom has a couple snacks there that she really likes and they only carry them at the dollar store. We've only been able to find them at the dollar store. Then we ended up going to Target. Like I said, I wanted to get the, I needed to get like two grocery items that I was going to get at Walmart. But we went to Target because my dad also had to use the ATM there. Because they have like the ATM that my dad has for like one of his work cards or something like that is um, specifically at the Target. Um, so... Yeah, we ended up going to Target too for that anyway. So I was like, well, then let's not go to Walmart. I'll just get the stuff that I needed because I need water chestnuts. I also need vegetarian chili. And it was super cheap at actually Target. I was surprised compared to, I mean, it might have been a couple of cents cheaper at Walmart anyway. But um, compared to the price that I was originally going to pay for it, they had um, the Hormel brand chili on sale at uh, Caputo's for $2. And I was like, oh, that's like a decent price I was like and I knew that the Hormel brand had made a vegetarian chili and so I was like well I'll have to go and check and see if they have the vegetarian chili you know part of the sale they didn't have it at all at um Caputo so I was like okay well then we'll go check at uh, Target they had it for $1.49 at Target so I was like okay I'm gonna get two of these then because I was originally just gonna get one and use it actually for a dip <clears throat> but um, yeah, so this is also to, to start doing my, like, grocery meal prepping stuff and shopping couponing, kind of, sort of, my other channel again as well. So, um, because some of the things that I can't get 
at like Aldi, I'll buy at Caputo's or Valley Produce, but because they're such expensive stores, I honestly do not like buying them there. Even if it is a sale, like you guys know with the chili, obviously it was on sale for $2, but it was 50 cents cheaper than that even at Target, and that was without a sale. So, um, you know, just like, you know, at a Target or Walmart, it could be a lot cheaper than at a grocery store where, you know, they sell other things really cheap than at the those stores, but I want to do like one big store that actually sells like name brand stuff which would be you know a walmart or something like that and then buying like you know if we do need name brand item or whatever like i said you know and some specialty items that you know um aldi might not carry like i needed water chestnuts as well and they don't carry those at aldi and honestly it was 99 cents i needed two of them and they probably would have ended up being like two dollars at you know caputo's or something or valley produce especially since they weren't on sale um <clears throat> so that's why i just i was like you know getting all those other things that i know they don't carry at aldi and things that you know maybe even are cheaper at you know uh walmart or something like that because the other thing that i noticed too was when we were at aldi today was that they carry basil but they only carry the organic basil which i don't have a problem with it's two dollars which is actually pretty cheap but um they don't they used to carry their other their old bottles which were like all the same size they used to carry them for 99 cents now they switch they have a smaller bottle and they charge like a dollar 19 or something like that which again is considerably cheaper than most stores and um they sell the organic seasonings and spices for 199 which is pretty good but they're again a little bit smaller and you know if i'm going through a certain seasoning or spice or whatever more frequently i might need to get a bigger you know package instead of having to buy like six of them or you know something like that i mean granted we don't go through them that often but you know, in some circumstances, we might need to get like a bigger size or whatever and buying them then at Aldi or buying them at Walmart or something like that um, might be better. Caputo's does actually have really good like bulk seasonings and spices, but what I want to try and do is compare between all the different grocery stores and everything like that, what is really like where would be the best place to buy something like that. Like obviously Aldi carries some, Walmart carries some, Caputo's carries some of their bulk sizes, like, you know, maybe Walmart does too. Or, you know, like where would it be the cheapest to get certain items and, you know, per ounces and things like that. Because, you know, Aldi for a long time, I always thought was better because it was 99 cents for, you know, the good size ones. Now that they're getting a little smaller, they're a little bit more money, you know, and again, they don't carry just regular basil. They only have the organic type. They only have the organic of a couple um, several actually of the brands, which again, I really do love. I love the organic stuff and I prefer it over that. But if I need, you know, like a, uh, you know, a couple tablespoons or something like that between a couple recipes that I need to make for that week and freeze, you know, I might need to buy like two or three of them then. Um, so that's why I just like certain things like that. Um, I want to try and compare and then share on my blog and do that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, the, the good thing was too, my mom just renewed my blog so I can actually get on there because it was like dormant for a little bit because they had to be repaid. Um, so I got that all taken care of as well. And, um, so after Target, I said we got my foundation, got the water chestnuts, got the chili. My dad got his money. We also bought a big thing of cheese balls. Um, because I have another story to tell you guys, but I'll do that maybe a different day. Um, and then ended up going to, um, Aldi. Then when we got home, I ended up making dip and like a cheese dip. And then I also made macaroni and cheese because <laughs> I told you guys I was buying so much cheese this week. And um, then my dad forgot, he was wanting to get a paintbrush at Target, forgot to because he's were repainting, repriming the bathroom. I told you guys that a while ago, but my dad had to fix a hole in the ceiling <laughs> and a long story because he ended up putting in the vent, the new vent for the bathroom, but I had to cut a hole in the ceiling, then had to patch it over so we could get it in there, you know, everything like that. So now that that's all finally done, he can finish priming, but he needed a paintbrush. So he was going to get one at Target, you know, just because we were there and it would have saved us the trip and everything. <laughs> totally forgot. We ended up having to go back out to Menards because we were also out of batteries. So ran out, going, went there. They also had their bag sale too, guys. It was 98 cents for the bag and it was, I think, like 15% off or 10% off, whatever could fit in the bag. And the two paintbrushes and the batteries that we ended up buying obviously fit in the bag. So it's like a reusable bag because it's trying to encourage you to like, you know, 
bring it around you know and reuse it when you come to the store and that way you can um what's i gonna say you can um you know save that money because they don't have to buy reusable bags then and you're saving the environment guys <laughs> but um yeah so they had that sale and then we like i said got a couple dollars off of that which was nice because all the stuff we were buying wasn't on sale anyway um but again we just needed it so yeah guys we ended up going through all that so then i came home and um i finally was able to eat some of the macaroni and cheese because i just pulled out of the oven right before we ended up having to go to menards and so yeah guys i put all the groceries away which we bought a lot of stuff and we were like i think right at budget for this week but the thing is i made i pre-cooked the chicken from last week and i ended up actually wanting to do a different recipe and i didn't have all the ingredients for it so i have pre-cooked chicken in the fridge that i made i don't remember like not i made it yesterday um or no maybe i made it two days ago but it should stay good in there until probably tomorrow at least at the like you know i'm just gonna leave it in there until tomorrow and finish that up and then end up freezing the i'm gonna make the broccoli chicken and rice but i didn't have those things so i'm gonna make those four uh four of those for the recipe um and then i'm also going to make i think four other recipes so in total i'm actually making eight freezer dinners for this week and i have like i said i think all the ingredients that i need anyway now to make eight freezer dinners which is a lot um and doing like i said all that stuff and everything means that next week should probably be a, light, a lighter week and not have to buy quite as much groceries um and like we also bought a lot of snack stuff and things like that which will hopefully carry over into another week as well but um just like again getting all that stuff i think we were like right at budget this week which was good so yeah and like i said too in the future i want to um I want to start sharing like recipes and things like that on my blog for you guys to actually like you know follow along with the grocery hauls and everything like that and doing the videos on my other channel as well and I want to do similar videos to what I was doing last year but I think I want to tweak them because they were taking me a really long time to do and to be honest guys I had fallen behind a little bit like last year and then when everything with my grandma ended up happening and stuff like that it was just like I just stopped doing it so you know I I don't know I just like it was taking me a lot longer than I had wanted it to and I wanted it to be faster but like even today too I was like the amount of time it took me to like put all the groceries away and all that kind of stuff and like I mean typically I don't cook on Sundays anyway but that was a whole nother long story um but just because of those type of things you know I was like you know today if I had tried to like add you know doing what I used to do on top of this like the way I would record the videos and like all that other kind of stuff if I would have done that on top of all this it would have seriously have taken me you know I'd be like super pooped by the end of the day which I am honestly guys I ended up though being able to watch like the bulls played today and the hawks played as well so i watched that um but i was just thinking like if i had to do that kind of stuff i'd probably still be like working at it like almost till right now um so yeah i didn't get to editing but i have video scheduled for tomorrow so i'm going to edit the ones for um what's that for edit the ones that i have to upload on monday tomorrow um and then upload them tomorrow and then they'll be scheduled out for monday um so yeah guys i am oh goodness i am so tired i need to get to bed but today was the first like week where i feel like i kind of was able to work through a little bit more of like the new grocery shopping schedule that i want to do um and everything like that and again too because i have some new and like fun ideas that i want to do for like shopping and stuff like that and i was thinking about it too i was like maybe i'll do jewel again i mean like i liked doing jewel last year and like because i actually couponed it jewel but i realized that sometimes i would buy things that i don't know that they were necessarily always like cheaper but honestly though guys like when i was couponing at jewel i've had like probably close to with the exception of buying like little things of detergent here and there sometimes when they've been on sale at like valley produce or whatever i've had pretty much almost a year's supply of um laundry detergent that i haven't had to buy since last year we still have like more extras in the laundry room but like when it's on sale at valley produce um because i'll buy the extra stuff which is just really cheap if it's on sale i'll buy it but i haven't gone out of my way specifically because we've been out of it if that makes sense like 
if I'm like, oh, you know, there's a sale for it is, you know, a dollar ninety nine or, you know, a dollar forty nine or ninety nine cents or whatever, or, you know, sometimes they'll even have like more of the name brand stuff like uh Tide or whatever. Um, sometimes like three, four ninety nine or something like that, or I think they even had on sale two ninety nine for like the not huge sized ones, but the decent sized ones. So I bought like some of those, but I haven't had to like like I said, go out of my way to be like, oh, we need laundry detergent because we're out. I haven't had to do that in like over a year, just like filling in when it's on sale because I have had such a stockpile. So I feel like there were some things that were good and bad about it, but sometimes I also found myself buying things that I was like, when are we going to use this? Or like we didn't use it or, you know, we ended up, you know, like just buying things that we wouldn't normally buy and in a smaller quantity than we sometimes would. And I don't know, like, because if we buy like chips or something like that, it like, Aldi or whatever it was you know I don't know and too because it was so time consuming I felt like sometimes that I don't know that the savings always outweighed like the time it saved to do it if that makes sense and like <laughs> this is coming from like a hardcore used to be couponer um that I don't know I don't know I have to reevaluate and I know that I won't start again in February for sure like I want to with all the other stuff but maybe I can reevaluate and just see how long this is taking me and not try and like jump into everything like completely because that's what I did last year too and I felt like I got burned out really quickly so I want to just do little pieces at little pieces at a time I don't want to do my meal prep either right off the bat like I did last year I just want to focus on freezer dinners to start off with and do grocery hauls and like pretty much let that be it and then do meal preps then maybe bringing couponing into it and kind of ease my way back into doing it instead of like last year where I tried to do everything all at once and just couldn't manage my time well so hopefully this year guys will be my time management that is my goal also for this year is to really try and manage my time well which I was up early today I want to it's early still tonight I want to get to bed take a shower and then this way I can get up hopefully early tomorrow as well get some other stuff done maybe even get some like pre blog post stuff done um which would be awesome so i'll see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's make sure you guys give it a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love if you'd subscribe and i'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow so bye guys